I've had a bunch of questions recently in the comments about different cars and what's happening with what and stuff like that. So today I'm gonna to run through, we're gonna do a little update. We're gonna go through every single car and the plans and what's happening with it. But first, you've seen the title of the video. I have purchased something new, which cost me, well, I'll put it this way. I spent more on fuel in one day than I spent on this trailer. So it's pretty cheap. Fuel's not cheap, but in comparison to a trailer, it's cheap. I'm gonna pull it in. <laughs> Genius. This is my new trailer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The guy who owned it before was like, could be a caravan base, could be a trailer. My plan for a while has been to get a trailer. When we do skid events, you just want to tow a car. Driving a car to a skid day, doing the whole skid day and then coming home is a bit sketchy, especially because I crash a lot. Originally, I want a nice trailer and I was like, it's not in my budget yet. I'm not fussed about it yet, so I'll just do it later on down the line. But then a nice guy called Lewis dropped me a message on Instagram. He's watched the channel for a while. Um, and he was just down the road. He had this trailer. He was like, I can't be asked to list it for sale, so do you want it? Currently, this isn't a working trailer because it's missing an axle. It's twin axle. It is a braked trailer. Two axles on this side and two mud guards. That side, one wheel. Mm, yeah, it's a bit rusty, but it's not structural. Well, not really. We've got like side marker indicator on that side. Nothing on that side. We've got no rear lights. It's also really small, so it's not, it might look big here in the unit, but it's not a big trailer. So we're gonna have to test whether it fits a car on in a bit. So the plan is we're just gonna spend a weekend and just give it a bit of love. So yeah, needs sanding back. Painting, we'll just do like Hammerite Director Rust. Um, I need to source an axle. Jockey wheel is absolutely toast. Well, we ripped it off yesterday because it's non-existent. But I have in the back of the Defender, a brand new jockey wheel and some lights, which I forgot about. This is like the rear axle, but it's missing like the box section and rubber bit that goes there. So I need a new one of these. I don't know what this style is. I've tried to find it, but I can't find it. So if anyone can help me or give me any advice on how to fix that. But yeah, it's a trailer. I'm pretty stoked. The likelihood is I will use this for like a couple of events. Like we're only gonna do a couple of skid days a year. I probably won't use it that much, but it's good enough to get me going. Well, it might be. The boys are coming around in a bit. We're gonna do some stuff, but until then, I'm gonna give you an update on all my cars because I keep getting questions and I thought I'd, thought I'd update you all, keep you in the loop. Which car should we do first? Compact. We'll do the compact first. This originally started life as a 316. It was a little 1.6 four banger. Picked it up, hadn't been driven for like 10 years. We ripped the engine straight out. We ripped the engine out of this, my 328, put it in that. It is now a 328. 2.8 straight six. The swap is lush, just flawless, works. We reckon this is running like 200 brake now and it's just pretty mint. Doesn't need anything there. Engine is all mint. If you haven't seen it already, there's a whole build series. I think we're on like 10 episodes now of this thing. It is genuinely the funnest car to drive. NA, it's pretty quick, it skids. The whole rear end is polybushed. We've just polybushed the front end and done the lock kit. So that's got like all new joints and arms and stuff. It actually feels dialed. Obviously it's caged as well. So it just drives dialed. On list of things that we've got to do left, the only thing is fit a hydro. And then I'm gonna leave it, and then it's done. So I've got the spare calipers. I just need to get the brackets. I need to get the hydro, we need to plumb it in. So that'll be the next episode. So yeah, that's my uh, E36 compact drift car. Next. All right, so this is my E36 coupe 328 M Sport. We took the 2.8 out, put it in that, and we are currently doing a V8 conversion. So there is an M60 B40, four liter BMW V8 under there. We have just, just tons of work to do, but that is gonna be the next video. I wanna get it on the road for the summer. There's a lot of work to do. The engine started, so I'm gonna pull it out, refresh it. We sort the wiring. I've ABS deleted it, 
because it doesn't fit. So I need to sort the brakes out. I need to sort the power steering out. I need to sort a rad out. I need to sort an exhaust. I need to just sort the prop because that's too short. So I need to get lengthened. All the suspension is completely shot. So I need new coilovers. I need polybushed stuff. There's just a million things that I need for it. So this is the biggest project we've got going on at the moment, but it's going to be my favorite when it's done. E36, V8, next video will be next Sunday. Next car. That's wet. This is my oldest car I own. The car I've owned the oldest, longest. This is my Seat Leon, my Cupra. I've had this since I was like 21. I'm 30 now. So I've had it nearly 10 years. Most of you know this car, this car started all the car stuff on the channel. This is my favorite car in the world. I will never get rid of it. We just gave it a bunch of attention and we did the track day. So if you didn't watch that, that was the video a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, this car is just mint. Little update. On it if you didn't watch the other video um i need an lsd because this thing just wheel spins like mad front wheel drive could really benefit with an lsd so when i get back from america i'm going to book that in and we're going to get probably a quaif lsd needs new tires because i cooked them on the last track day we've got upgraded fuel pump we've got bigger injectors we've got a bunch of other stuff so it will go for mapping as well it's currently running 260 brake we're hoping to get it to like 290 so 290 brake with a few issues fixed with an LSD and some new tires, this thing will be pretty fun. But other than that, it's just the best car ever. Just does what it does and I love it. Anyway, next car. Donnie, the Defender. This is my, uh, I would say my latest purchase but I've actually bought another car, which I'll talk about in a bit. So this is a 110. It's a 2003 Defender 110 uh, TD5. I love it. It's amazing. You probably noticed I got a bit carried away with this and I was just filming loads of videos on it. So if you subscribe to the Defender, I'm sorry, because I just stopped making videos on them, but that is for a reason. And that is the next jobs I have to do on it suck. <laughs> so I've just been putting it off. I'm building this to be like an off-road, like overland type adventure rig, which to be fair, it's doing a pretty good job at. It ran out of MOT not long ago. So Dan just had that and he got it through the MOT. It failed on a few things, but nothing major. It was like wheel bearing play and a leaking rear axle. So he sorted all that. So thanks Dan. If you ever want any mechanic stuff doing, Dan works on everything. Drift cars, Land Rovers, the lot. And he's very good, so. MWG Garage. If you want to watch all the Defender videos, I'll put a uh, playlist up there. So you can go and catch up on that if you haven't watched any of this, but yeah, I absolutely love this thing. In the back, there's nothing going on. It's like solid metal, solid metal, and it's freezing cold. And what I realize is like with the roof tent, it's mint. Not in the winter though, it's really cold. I want to build this into something as well. So I want to be able to sleep in the back or the roof tent, I want the option. So my next job in here is fix all the holes, insulate it, carpet it, build something out. I got to do all the electrics. So the next like list is all interior stuff and it's just gonna be like pure work. That's the update on the Defender. Next car, the last car, or is it? The Passat, the Daily. I, I actually love this car more than anything. That's actually a lie. I love all my other cars a lot more than this one, but it's the best daily in the world. The other day I hit 200K and it's still going mint. The only thing I've done since the videos, like I ended the series, is I got a new wing because that one was super rusty. The flywheel actually started going. So I gave it to Dan and he put a new flywheel in for me. And I think we did the cam belt. Yeah, so we did the cam belt, water pump, new flywheel. As soon as this thing blows up, I'm just gonna get another engine and put it in because the body's mint, chassis's mint, and yeah, still drives like a brand new car. Like literally everyone that gets in this car, they're like, this is really comfy. And I'm like, yeah. And then I tell them it's on 200K and they're like mind blown. Also it's an auto heated seats. It's the Highline version, but then I converted the outside to the R-Line. So it looks the best and it's the best inside. So it is, it's just the best. This is the only car on this channel that I've actually finished. Like from start to finish, we did like a build series and I did a finale. So what I was thinking is I always see all these like 
build a car in 10 minutes on YouTube, but they're always like nuts cars. So I might just take the piss and do like a two liter TDI Passat budget build in 10 minutes. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see a Passat build in 10 minutes. That is all my cars currently. I'm not gonna show you the next one. I will explain a little bit though. So I've bought a new car. I kind of got the idea in my head and then I told Andy and Dan and they were just like, do it. So then we found one within two days and I bought it. So it completely came out of nowhere. It's mint. The car's not mint, but the car is mint. Wait, the car itself isn't mint, but that version of, it's a cool car, I really like it. My plan for that is obviously I'm going to America, so I'm not gonna to touch it till I get back. I'm not gonna let it get in the way of the coupe because that takes priority and the Defender does. So that's why I don't wanna post about it yet because then everyone will just be like, when's the next video on that? I've got an idea. These are lanyards. We've got rhubarb, uh, green, brown, black, white. There's five here. I'm gonna give all five away to someone. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below. I wanna see guesses. I want you to guess what my next car is. The car that's outside that I've already got. Drop a comment down below and uh, you'll win five lanyards. But yeah, just comment. What do you reckon I've got outside my doors right now? Let's wait for the boys to get here. I'm gonna test that trailer out and we're gonna load it up. I'm gonna see if it actually fits the car on it. Also, a bunch of people have been asking about the Yaris. I don't have the Yaris anymore, but Andy does. Cause it's now Andy's car, so. He's gonna turn up in the Aris. He's done a few bits, so we'll do an update on that when he gets here. So I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna go get a haircut quick, and then I'll be back. Right. Let's see if this works then. Try and get him. <laughs> Defender. What is this for? Oh, I can do it. Yeah? Sound boys. Watch me in. <laughs> How did you do that? I literally put a key in the ignition. I've only ever set that car off once. <laughs> 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 the world was coming to an end. Classic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, slow down. Jack! <laughs> Let's try the bitch on. Can we try it? Yeah, fucking look how toy it is outside. You're on the tire, mate. <laughs> Couldn't get much any, like anything bigger, could you? Doesn't get. But it works. Yeah. Wheels go round. Yeah, okay. That's a good setup, isn't it? It's cool. Just need to spray everything black. Yeah. You think it would squat a bit, wouldn't it? And you? I reckon it's the height of the trailer. Doesn't yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. No. I reckon I can do that. Cool, this. Nice. I don't reckon you could do that in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? Should we have a look at the arrows? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, they keep asking, don't they? Yeah. They keep thinking I've still got it. No. It's so. my daily baby. <laughs> right, since uh, <coughs> since you since had I it, gave it to you, what have we done? Put a clutch in it, put a new drive shaft in it, failed MOT, so Dan dropped the subframe in the rear, rewelded it all up. Yeah. Because it had the rear pockets were a bit rusty. Yeah. So Dan rewelded all the rear end, put the OEM wheels back on. Oh, yeah. I just wanted it kind of just like kind of OEM y. Yeah. Sorted that god awful exhaust that was on it. Oh, yeah. It was blowing really badly at the front, so we took, all the, took it all off. Resealed it all, put all new bolts yeah, on it. Yeah, it was blowing from like the manifold, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, after the manifold. I just sourced that back box because it was on offer and it's from, a, I think it's a 131. Yeah, silent, isn't it? Yeah. That's men. Did we do springs on camera, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, we did, did yeah, Tyne so Springs, so it's Tyne cool. Springs and KYB Shops, which I found out. Yeah, nice. That's a good combo. Let's dish it now. I put my bike on the back. What is it? Saris. My bike fits in the back. <laughs> You get two bikes in the back. Yeah. Let's get that. That's mint. Mate, it's so good. I'm gutted I never actually drove it. Mate, it's so good. But my parents got a T-Sport now, which I bought off Ricky. Big Rick. There. Where is he? 
big rick so my parents have now got ricky's t-sport and i drive that whenever i go to cornwall mm. and I'm, it's just so mint they're just banging these cars are so good they like go well handle well good on fuel they look good what am i going to do to it yeah supercharger yeah supercharger nah i want to bribe bricks Bride bricks, front seat. If anyone's got a bride bricks driver's seat that's not stupidly overpriced. There you go. And MX-5 Enki wheels. Done. What's that, Jack? This is the new giveaway for... <laughs> the new giveaway? Do you mean the new air freshers that you're going to give away? Yeah. yeah. Today? Yeah. We're giving this away now. Right, cool. Right, ready? Yeah. I've lost my mind. <laughs> 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 what is it again? <laughs> Uh, Easy <laughs> getting given away. Right. Give it to Andy. This is this week's giveaway. Yeah. And it's the new air fresheners. It's a multi pack with all the air fresheners, but two new it's got the two new ones in there. They've got a comment. What have they got a comment? Rick, what, what do they comment? Uh, comment ideas? Should we do like a, a vote instead of a comment? Like, if you should shave? No. Yeah, they all no. want to see you shave. Yeah. I don't care. You won't shave. What's box new car? Yeah. <laughs> did that in the last one. Damn. <laughs> Favourite <laughs> snack to make? in under 10 minutes. Do you know what I've been wondering? What? How do languages come about? <laughs> like, how do people start talking? And like, names? Okay, is this your question? Is this what you want people to, no, to answer? No, they just Google it, you thick twat. They're but like, it's not on Google though, is it? Because no one knows. Yeah, they just, everybody knows, I reckon. Should I get a Z3 or an MX-5? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Z3, easy. <laughs> MX-5s are amazing though. No, I think I'd say MX-5. Right, you win. <laughs> you win yeah! <laughs> 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 Comment where I can get a rear axle for that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Comment just a couple of video ideas as well. Yeah. That's always helpful, isn't it? So we need some of them. A few video ideas. Whether Ricky should get an MX-5 or a Z3. And meals in under 10 minutes. And how did languages start? And how did languages start? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What a variety. That is the weirdest selection of questions. Anyway, drop a comment down below. I'll pick one of you to win that air freshener pack. All right, see you in the next video. Goodbye.